Hello everyone! For this video I decided to take you out on a little field sketching trip to the forest that is nearby where I live and that I like to visit often because it's a nice place to be. <laughs> we are lucky enough to be able to go outside, it's even encouraged and if that's the case where you live I think you should take that opportunity and, and come field sketching with me. If not, you can just sit in front of your window, on your balcony and do the best with what you have. The time right now, or more like a week or two ago, is really perfect for field sketching because the weather has gotten warm enough for you to be sitting outside and not freezing your fingers off. But at the same time, the leaves have just started showing up and they are not big enough and dense enough to hide the shape of the tree so it's a perfect time to study tree shapes and that's one of the things i did on this little trip another good time for that is in the autumn of course so if you've missed your opportunity this spring watch out for that in the autumn i think that when you go out field sketching is good to keep in mind what your goal is so that you don't stretch yourself thin with what you want to do. In this case, I didn't go with the idea to make perfect photorealistic sketches. I just wanted to study some shapes, tree shapes, leaf shapes, branches, things like that, spend some time in nature. So I wanted my sketches to be quick and easy so I'm using very limited materials just my marker sketchbook a Copic marker and a nice pen no pencil because that slows you down again here I'm not trying to make beautiful Instagram worthy sketches it's just some quick learning training my hand-eye coordination I guess you can say it's a bit like gesture drawing but with nature so once you found your perfect spot, like I decided to use this fallen tree as my table, first I think it's nice to take a moment and just quietly observe what's around you, study the shapes, get familiar with your subject. So it's, it's like a little meditative moment, if you will. And now I start drawing. I'm really sorry for the angle and for the sharp shadows. It's pretty hard to get a perfect filming angle <laughs> when you're out and about. I've done my best in post-production to make it look good, but well, <laughs> I've also considered redrawing all of those sketches at my desk so that I get better footage of that, but then I thought that would be cheating. So you are seeing the actual sketches as I'm doing them in the forest. I hope you don't mind. So this is a birch forest and that's what we are drawing. So if you observe birch trees, you will notice that they have a very tall, straight and thin trunk with some branches coming off of it and and then in the end you have this smaller secondary or more like tertiary branches that are just basically hanging down and are creating this very interesting shape that the tree has and that's what I'm trying to capture with these quick sketches. I don't want this to be a really long video so I'm going to speed up some of the sketches but for some of them I want to leave them real time so you can see that I'm really not taking my time with this because the idea of this exercise is to be very quick and just catch the essence of what we are drawing. I do something similar often when I travel, when I'm sitting in a bus for example or a train and if we are traveling through some nature area I like to do these quick sketches and they're just so much fun and so relaxing. I know it can be very intimidating to start sketching directly in pen on your nice paper, but just try and do it and eventually you'll get braver, of course. I think it's, it's just wonderful exercise and you end up with some really nice sketches actually. Also, when you observe the birch trees, you'll notice that they tend to come out in this 
clumps, often a couple of trees or a couple of trunks will come from about the same spot. So I imagine they probably share the same roots. So they're basically just different branches of the same tree. So I put that down in my sketchbook as well. Also something very characteristic and interesting about the birches is that they're white with this very specific texture and pattern on their trunks that is very nice to capture as well. I also added little dots here and there to indicate that there are some leaves growing. Another way you can sort of communicate that is with few quick strokes with a marker. It will create this sort of like a green mist around the tree that you actually see in real life right now. Well, at this point where I live, most leaves have grown enough to start to actually hide the, the branches. But in this week or two, when the leaves are just starting to show up, you, you see it like this. So that's what I wanted to capture with uh, these few sketches. I've also decided to make a really quick capture of the pattern on the trunk. This uh, black and white sort of bark pattern. As you can see, I'm not doing anything under any pencil sketches. And I'm a huge advocate of not using pencil. Not like never ever, but when you're doing quick sketches, quick studies, I think it's it kind of releases your mind because otherwise you're just so stuck on getting the right details, you're erasing, you're going back and I think you're, you're getting lost in the unnecessary details. I highly recommend that you try sketching in pen next time you're outside. I think that Pencil is a better tool to use for when you're actually trying to make a nice finished work. Then you want to get all the things right. You want to be able to erase. But that's not what we are doing right now. Another technique I really love using when I'm out and about is starting with a marker and just blocking out a shape. In this case, the shape of the leaf. So you basically get a huge colorful blob that then you get to turn into a leaf with the help of the pen where you add the necessary details until it starts to look like an actual leaf. I think it could be nice sometimes to think in terms of shapes instead of lines. Another thing that's a lot of fun to do and pretty quick is to simplify all the shapes into something a little more abstract, if you will. Not, not really abstract, but a lot more abstract than what we've been drawing so far. So basically I'm simplifying this little branch into just a couple of lines and a couple of green blobs with the marker that stand for leaves. And I think you can still tell it's a it's a fresh spring branch without all the details and it takes seconds to draw and it's it's kind of inspired by Chinese ink paintings. If you haven't, you should look up some demos. They're just so incredibly inspiring and beautiful. They, they make amazing paintings with just a couple of strokes. I think the bamboo paintings are the most traditional ones and yeah, it's just amazing. Just just look it up. So that's kind of what I was going for. Obviously, I'm not trained like that and I haven't practiced a whole lot. So there's absolutely no comparison, but I love that aesthetics. And yeah, sometimes I'm trying to replicate it. And at this point, I decided I was done with this spot. You see me there staring for a moment. That's because there was this half fallen tree right behind the camera. And every time the wind was blowing, it was making some squeaky sounds and sounded like it's about to complete its fall. And yeah, I was a bit concerned about filming myself being killed by a falling tree on camera. <laughs> so even though that was a great spot, I decided to move on further because there are always more adventures ahead. Next, I found this nice spot where I'm sitting on a bunch of fallen trunks. 
it's really difficult to <laughs> place the camera in a way that makes sense and actually films what I'm drawing. There were also a lot of people passing by and even though Danes are generally not the kind of people that stop on the street and talk to you, I find that when you are outside sketching you always attract attention and there will be always at least one person who is going to come and look and <laughs> comment. So that's something that sometimes keeps me away from sketching outside but I guess it's something you have to get used to. Also a couple of times I accidentally didn't turn on my cameras so I actually didn't film some of the sketches that I wanted to show you but anyway here I'm doing some quick gesture-ish sketches of this little branch. It's a tree that I really want to learn what it is. I want to find out what the name of the tree is and I haven't yet. So that was part of the reason why I wanted to sketch it so it will remind me to look for it when I come home. I still haven't found out by the way. But to make it quick I blocked out the shape of the leaves with my marker as I showed you earlier and then just added some details with the pen. Here are some of the sketches I made. In each one I had a slightly different approach. I'm not sure how much of that is visible but in some of them I went really quick with the intention of just to get the impression and the feel of the branch and in some of them I wanted to get a bit of realistic detail in the in the leaves and again I'm trying to go for that ink painting sort of feel. I think leaves and trees are great subjects because unlike people they don't move. Their shapes are pretty simple and especially if you're a beginner I think it's a great place to start. They look complicated and intimidated and intimidating but they can be broken down easily into very simple shapes as you can see. But it's also about managing expectations. So as I said in the beginning it's good to have in mind what exactly your goal is when you go out sketching. Are you trying to make actual precise botanical studies? Sometimes that would be my goal or is it just quick impressions? And after that I moved again to a different spot and this time decided to move on to something a little more complex like a little landscape. But again, we are not trying to make a perfect painting that we're going to hang on the wall. It's more of a thumbnail, more of a feel, just more about the coordination of your eye and your hand. It's a bit like taking a quick photograph with your hand. You would want to have just enough details to show what we are looking at and that's it. Again I'm using just the pen and the marker. A few, few lines here and there can indicate some grass, a few longer line and you have a tree. Again we are using everything we've seen and observed so far about the birch trees or whatever that it is in your forest. Now looking back I would do things differently but it doesn't matter because I was capturing this one moment when I was sitting on that bench in that forest and in a way sketches like that really preserve the feeling and the moment. I find that when I'm traveling for example I, I manage to capture much more memories in a sketch like that than if I actually take a picture. I, I always would take a picture because later I can use that as a reference so I can draw a better interpretation of the scene but in these quick sketches you really really capture the moment. Looking at it, I can remember the song of the birds, the smell of the air, the sun. It's just really peaceful and meditative. I know it might look stressful because, again, you're drawing with permanent media and that's scary, but it's just your sketchbook. It's just a memory or an exercise you make and it doesn't have to be so deep and serious. This little thumbnail took me literally five minutes. I know because I have the clip and it is five minutes long and that also just shows you that you don't need a lot of time if you want to practice drawing. Five minutes here, ten minutes there. If you do it every day it's perfect. It teaches you a lot even if it doesn't feel that way.
So I was sitting on a bench under this birch tree and the branches were falling really nicely and cozy all around me and I wanted to capture that so that's why I drew this quick branch again going for the Chinese ink painting feel and that's actually my favorite sketch of that field trip. I don't think it adds a whole lot to this video but I decided to keep it because I just liked it so much and I, and I think it was so pretty, so quick and effortless. I think it looks effortless and it was kind of effortless to make and, and that's a feeling I'm very drawn to. In art, I don't like something that's overworked. I like something that just captures the moment and puts you in the moment. And I think it's a lot of fun to try. And this is another quick landscape I made that was right in front of me sitting on that bench. But turns out I didn't turn on the camera as I was drawing it, so I don't have a footage of it. Oh well. Another pro tip is always bring some kind of snack because, well, depending on the time you spend, I spent half a day in the forest and yes, you will get hungry. So, you know, treat yourself. And then I decided to go to another forest that's nearby this one because I wanted to show you some different tree shapes. And in this case we have oak, which is a very different tree than the birch. They will get their leaves a bit later on, so... They still look very bare and they're perfect to study. As you can see, they have also very straight, in fact, straighter than the birch trunk, a bit thicker with a lot more secondary branches coming out of it. Those secondary branches are a lot stronger and thicker and they have this weaving, very interesting shapes they're making. They're kind of like snakes almost. The tertiary branches are also kind of wavy and weird and they all point upwards unlike the birch that's hanging down as you probably remember. Unfortunately I forgot to record the start of this sketch but I'm basically trying to replicate what I have already observed. The crown of the tree is a lot fuller and a lot more rounded. It takes a lot more space than the birch does. It's just overall a a stronger looking, much more imposing tree. And I think based on the feeling you go for in illustration, you can actually use the character of the tree to further your story. If you are illustrating a story of a little girl lost in the woods, I think it could be a very good idea to make the these woods an oak tree woods because a forest like that is going to look much scarier and and more threatening than a birch forest would and if the scene is during winter or autumn you'll have these bare branches that kind of look like this scary witch hands so you know that's the kind of thoughts you can get when you go field sketching and actually feel the place and get to know the different kinds of trees. I think it's very important to have that kind of experience because it's going to make your work a lot richer in terms of story and a lot deeper. And lastly, let's throw a little flower. I found this really nice white one that I think I found out was anemone. It has very interesting leaves. And in this case, I went for a much closer and more and more literal interpretation because I also wanted to find out what this flower is when I get home. So I wanted it to look somewhat realistic, like I was actually counting the petals and, you know, all these little details. I noticed that all the little leaf branches, or <laughs> I don't know how to call them, they come from the same spot in like the middle of the stalk and there's three of them and each one divides into three leaves into other three like 
branches or leaves or uh, I don't know I didn't study botany in English I have no idea what the terms are but yeah it, it's a very interestingly shaped flower that I actually would like to study further and also you can see how when you are sketching in the in the wild you sometimes have to stand in weird positions and look like a total weirdo in the forest but remember that you're doing it for science and art so it's okay <laughs> and that was all for my field trip this time i hope you enjoyed coming with me and i hope you're still able to get something out of my sketches even though they weren't filmed super clean and nice <laughs> but i did my best and i'm looking forward for for the weather to get warmer so i can do more of these trips and maybe take you on some of them i admit that a trip like that is going to be a lot more fun if you're not trying to film yourself because let me tell you that's not the most comfortable thing in the world i really hope you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions and if you would like to see more of this kind of videos in the future and i'm looking forward to seeing you next time and until then have fun <laughs>